What's up, y'all? Don't give the devil no room to breathe in your life. I know you wondering why somebody trying to piss me off today. They trying to cut me off on the road. The supervisor trying to say slick stuff off their mouth thinking you need the job. So think they can say anything they want to you. You know, the person you're supposed to be claiming, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend. They starting to act funny with these mood swings and giving you silent treatment. They're not trying to have sex and... You kind of sense something not right with them or they switching up on you. You starting to see more things about them that seem heartless. That you starting to question their motives or if they cheating. The devil is always working. The devil works to those who's closest to you. The devil don't sleep. That's his job. We got to be careful and see who is in our who is in our life. Is it is people in our life because they sent from the devil? Or are they sent from Jesus? Now, nobody is perfect. So people that are sent from God or sent from Jesus, they can be have imperfections as well. But you would know them by their fruits. You know, now, the devil going to make people seem like they're really down for you. You know, or they're going to they're gonna come with a gift here too. But people that genuinely sent from God, you should be able to tell because they're not coming from an angle. You know, they're coming straightforward and direct. And um, you can just tell that they're straightforward and speaking exactly how they feel most of the time, unless they're nervous or shy. Um, however, the devil is not going to stop. The devil ain't going to stop, y'all. Stop thinking the devil going to stop. He ain't going to stop. That's his job to make you upset, to make you discouraged. Let somebody get in your way so you're three minutes late, five minutes late. Constantly working. You got to just keep praying and understand, God, no matter what happened, what, what roadblock is put in front of your face to slow you up, that God going to work it out. The moment you get frustrated, the moment you get angry, cut somebody out, fight somebody or hurt somebody or get a temper tantrum, the devil going to capitalize on that. Like, dang, he giving me more stuff to work with. It's all about putting you in a jam. Because it's something about you that is able to reach a lot of people. And if he can slow you down, he can stop so many people from getting close to God. You know what I'm saying? He can stop so much. So many people are relying on you. God is using so many people... To be blessed because of you. He is using you to be a blessing to other people. The devil don't want nobody blessed. He in competition with God, with Jesus. So they they playing chess with each other. Of course, Jesus can beat them anytime he wants. But as long as we got this freedom of choice due to all that stuff that happened eons ago in the heavens and stuff, kicked out of the heaven, we are just in the middle of all that because God loves us so much. So while they in the midst of trying to, you know, hoping that we choose the right way, because we got the power of choice, like angels got the power of choice. We can choose to go to hell or choose to hurt somebody, or choose to bless somebody. It's all about what's in our heart. So God look at our hearts. He don't trip off our imperfections. He already know how hard it is to be in this physical body and be on this earth with all these, all this stuff going on. Dealing with all these people that's dealing with pride and getting smart with you and lying to you. Um, there's so much stuff. So you got to understand, in this world, you can't give the devil no air to breathe. When somebody gets smart with you, say, huh, well, I know where that's coming from. As long as nobody touch you. In most cases, nobody just going to be coming out, slam out and trying to hurt you. They're not going to be trying to hurt you physically and all that type of stuff. They're just going to be trying to provoke you. It's all about the provoke. How can, can I get this person upset? The devil is more concerned about getting you upset than anything. Because once he gets you upset, everything shuts down. You're not thinking clear. Your body starts acting messed up. So to remember, the devil's job is to kill, steal, and destroy so once he gets you upset, he can slow the whole blessing process down. You can't see clear. 
you, you, God's purpose started to slow down, your health started to slow down, your stress level goes up, you're not happy, you're, you know, the spirit of God is, has been stagnant right there, you know, because, you, you know, you, you're not able to use what you got, you know, you forget about what you know, and sometimes it's a, he'll double up on you. So you got to understand that just because he do that, don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. I'm Alan Williams, the Regionaire. Don't forget to like, if follow if you're on Instagram, um, subscribe if you're on YouTube. But I'm here to let you know, man, don't give up, Joe. I've been through more shit than a toilet. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I already know how it, how it is to have fake family members, fake girlfriends, fake friends, um, you know, uh, people trying to start stuff out in public. I've been through, I've been through fights. I've been through knuckle battles, knock people out, mess my knuckles up. I've been through every, all that. I'm here to let you know that it is a rainbow at the end of the tunnel. Don't want to sound cliche, but the truth is the truth. Don't worry about that bullshit. Keep on going. If somebody cheat on you, keep going. God got somebody better for you. Okay? You want somebody, as far as relationship-wise, you want somebody that's always available for you. They reach out to you every chance they get. Appreciate you to the maximum. Simple. You don't have to be Hollywood every time you're around them. You don't have to be Hollywood. You ain't got to have your hair done all the time. Everything ain't got to be going good in your life all the time for them to be treating you like gold. Those are fake ass people when you got to always be at your best. That is fake ass people. Let me hear you say fake ass people. Fake ass people. It can be your family member, your best friend, your girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife. It can be your supervisor. It can be your coach. It can be your pastor. Nobody is perfect, but fake-ass people, that mean they have a cold heart. Or they, they so, they're they so anxious and desire to please and be accepted by the masses so much that they're willing to pretend. They're willing to sacrifice their souls and pretend like they love somebody when they don't. They're willing to do degrading things to get material possessions, to get money, you know, to have sex with bosses on jobs and kill family members to get money for life insurance. They're willing to do devilish stuff. Those are fake people. People that talk behind your back. People that smile in your face and try to corrupt your name when, you, when you're out their presence, when you turn your back. We all dealing with it. I'm here to let you know. Alan Williams the Rillionaire is your friend. And I've been through that. If you need a free consultation, talk to me, reach out to me, subscribe to my page. You get 10 minutes free consultation. Talk about anything you want for 10 solid minutes. Anything over that, it's going to be charged. But look. Everything going to be all right, man. I know you, you want your goals. Remember, it's not about the goals. You're going to have bullshit on each level. So take it one day at a time. Reach for your goals, but don't be anxious. The Bible says don't be anxious for nothing. So don't worry about when you see fake people in your family. It hurts. It's lonely. It's frustrating. It's depressing. Fucking lose your mind. Don't lose your mind. Drink chamomile tea. Pray. Do what you gotta do. Don't take no don't take no drugs or nothing. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do to stay calm. Without don't hurt yourself. Pray, believe in Jesus, read the Bible. Find a church that you can, a preacher that you in tune with, whether online or in person. Find a good friend to pray with. Call me up. You need me to pray with you, I'll pray with you and for you. Okay? It's people out here that understand what you're going through. They might not always be your family member. 
your so-called best friend may not always be your father, may not always be your mother, may not always be your pastor, your preacher, your coach, but it's somebody out there that's always understand the pain you got in your heart. That loneliness is real as fuck. Oh, that loneliness is a terrible thing. Loneliness is a terrible feeling. It drives you crazy because no human being should be lonely. No, no creature should be lonely. No, no creature, no insect. Nothing is supposed to be by itself. Look in the sky. You see birds flying together. Humans are the only people who be around each other for fake reasons. Even though we, we enjoy being around each other, we got our motives are fucked up. So I'm here to let you know now. You are not alone. Don't give the devil no room. No, no air to breathe. Don't feed into none of his traps. Don't feed into none of that bullshit. Okay? Stop trying to impress these fake ass people by showing your looks, your money, your cars, your ass crack, your titty balls, your new watches flashing your money. Stop being a corn fucking ball. Stop being a corn ball. Okay? Love yourself. Pray to Jesus. Hang around fake people, real people. Okay? Find a real person to hang around. You'll know them because they just like to be around you just because being around you without no motive, not what they hand out or nothing. They more so try to help you than take from you. I'm Alan Williams, the realionaire. The only realionaire out there that's the real realionaire. We have a lot of fakes, but remember, Alan Williams, the millionaire, is the authentic. And the millionaire nation is authentic. Welcome to the millionaire nation. Glad to have you. Alan Williams, the millionaire, checking out. Millionaire nation, we coming at him. The devil is, shall not prevail.